Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Crafty Beer Reviews. Today I have a very special beer to review for you. This is Trillium Melcher Street IPA. That's right, I finally got my hands on a Trillium IPA. I have heard non-stop just glowing reviews, awesome stuff about these beers, but I've never gotten to try it. So this is my very first Trillium IPA, and I gotta give a big, big shout out to Nate who is one of my regular customers. He comes to see me for beer all the time. Nate, thank you, thank you, thank you. Not only that, at time of recording, guys, this is 10 days old. That's right, under two weeks old. Dude, you rock. I cannot wait to get into this. I just hear so many good things. Couldn't find much information in terms of the hops or whatever else, but you know what? That's okay. Let's go ahead and check out the aroma. Oh, my God. <laughs> Damn, that just smells so good. Wow, up front there's this big blast of sweet, juicy orange. Smells like orange juice. That is crazy. Big tropical fruits, big citrus notes. Oh, man, that's just orange on top of orange. I get, like, a little bit of nectarine in there. Definitely a good amount of pineapple. I get, like, this really kind of, like, like this fleshy mango kind of note going on, some apricot, maybe a touch of grapefruit in the back end. Wow, though, just tons and tons of citrus. It's juicy. It just smells so damn good. Oh, my God. I could just sit here and just keep sniffing this thing. It's amazing. I get a little bit of, like, dankness in the back end, but it's really, really mild. It's mostly that big, juicy bright tropical fruit notes, big, big orange and pineapple. Smells fantastic. Let's go ahead and take our first sip. Wow. Wow. Just like in the aroma up front, big, juicy, sweet orange. Oh my god. That tastes like straight up orange juice in a glass. That is so good. Mm. I get some bittersweet grapefruit. There's almost like a candied grapefruit note in there. Definitely getting a touch of pine, a little bit of dankness, but really, really mild compared to these big citrus notes. In the back end, I get a lot of pineapple. It's like really, really juicy. I'm getting a touch of apricot in there too. Nice, nice stuff. Oh my god. Wow. As you guys see... I'm having no trouble downing this. Very, very good. It's got a medium body. It's got a very crisp, clean type of finish. It's got a decent level of bitterness without hitting you over the head. It's got like it's got the type of bitterness that you would expect for a single IPA. It's not too bitter, but it does dry it out on the back end. But wow, you're just left with this finish of orange peel, orange juice, pineapple. It's got a really big mango character too. Mm. Wow, this is damn, damn good. I can see why people are freaking out over these beers. This has to be one of the best single IPAs I have had in a very, very long time. It's juicy, it's bright, just all of these big citrus notes. I am just absolutely loving this. Great amount of bitterness. This is awesome, especially in the warm Ohio weather right now. Guys, in terms of rating, I'm going with a 9.7 out of 10. I can't see much in the way of improving this one. It is damn, damn good. If you like these big, bright, citrusy, tropical fruit IPAs, a little bit of pine, touch of dankness in the back, it's just, you can't do much better than this. This is phenomenal stuff. Oh, my God. I am going to have no problem finishing that 750. I will say, though, I am disappointed because I don't know the next time I'm going to go try this beer. But wow, if you guys can get your hand on this, or I would assume anything else that they do right now, go do it. If you guys have had any of their beers, please let me know in the comments. Really interested to hear your thoughts. I'm loving this. It's awesome. Mmm, wow. All right, that does for this beer review, guys. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And remember, I hope whatever you're doing involves good craft beer. See ya.